how's it going today? We start back again. This time, new plug-in alert, as Caleb would say. Serato Sampler. Um, really sick. I got invited today to go down to the Serato Studios in Brooklyn. Uh, we I've DJ with Serato for like a decade now, so got to know the guys pretty well, especially since moving to New York. And um, huge fan of Serato DJ. And they told me they had something special to show me. Um, it was released yesterday, earliest I could make it was today. And it's a sampler. It's really dope. So today's video is going to be new plug-in alert, Serato Sampler. Let's check it out. All right, so I just popped open Serato Sample. I've got two samples set to side. Let's check this thing out. We're going to drag in the first one out of Ableton. And immediately you see those waveforms that if you use Serato DJ, you know and you love. I've been using Serato for a really long time, as I mentioned earlier. And yeah, this thing is slick. Pretty straightforward. Set your keyboard down two octaves to C1, and you can press a key and it marks a spot. Press the second key on a different spot and it marks that spot. Press the key to play it back. Sweet, right? Okay, great. So what does this thing do differently that you know Ableton sampler can't do? Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. It's not a game changer. It's another sampler. But at the same time, I'll tell you one thing. It already knows we're in the key E, which is awesome. It's super helpful because it removes one step of the process trying to figure that out. And it's pretty accurate. Next thing, it's already time stretched too, to any BPM that you want to do. And the time stretching sounds phenomenal. Let's take it down to 100. It's not Ableton's time stretching either. It's pitch and time, which if you don't know, is actually the first Serato product that I'm aware of. It's one of the top three, probably one of the best, if not the best, time stretching algorithm out there. Um, there's another one that's like a weird German one that um, Ableton's based on that's supposed to be incredible. Um, and there's a couple weird ones, but none of them are really easy to run. And if you're a guy who's just trying to make music, you probably don't give a shit about that anyways. Just for the hell of it, let's try that really quick in Ableton without, um, without you know, let's see how it sounds. Right off the bat, it's just not, it's good. But it's not as good as that. So they've impressed me right away with that. So if you're ever interested in doing anything that crazy, obviously they've got a winner there. Next thing, um, what else does it do that's really cool? Well, the sync is immediate. Warp is obviously pretty immediate in, in Ableton, but hey, this thing saves me time. It finds the BPM immediately and time stretches it for you and it's on point. Next thing. Setting the samples and stuff like that is pretty similar than how you do it in Ableton. You've got these two little flags here. So if you want it to stop there, boom, it stops. And if you want to pre-roll a little bit, I think you can do it. With, or you can move. That's the start point. Never mind. I think you can pre-roll it. Eh, maybe there's a way to pre-roll it. I'm actually pretty sure there is. I just don't know what I'm doing. It's my first time using this besides a little bit of the studio. So bear with me. Um, you can change each level here. And this is pad individual or you can select all. Um, you can filter it, which is pretty obvious. And you can do the attack, and you can also key shift things independently. That actually sounds pretty cool with that down three steps. Um, and there's also this favorite option, which is really cool. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, then there's the one, the um, one shot mode, which you've seen in most samplers. And the one-shot mode is really simple. It just, you don't have to hold the key down. It plays the sample in its entirety. We're going to stick to that for now. Um, so yeah, covered a lot of it. But then there's this little window here. And this is what I thought was awesome. So let's clear those samples out. And let's press Find Samples. Serato's got built in kind of an algorithm for it to find. And I think it's a little bit of random. And it's it stays on time, maybe transient based in some areas, but as you can see, it's not totally transient based. There's a little bit of randomization. And I was so inspired by this when I was in the Serato studio that I challenged myself on camera with Serato to make a beat in five minutes. So I used a drum break that I had in my collection of drums and I chopped up a sample because the loops were so inspiring. It fed me so many cool ideas. So let's check this out. How did it chop this?
already I'm hearing so many different things that I might not have came up with if I was doing it in Ableton because this randomization feature is so inspiring. I think it's just like amazing. If you're a hip hop producer, you're making beats like this, game changer, my personal opinion. So let's say we like this section. You can click that, click favorite. Click that, click favorite. Click that, click favorite. Click that, hit favorite. And then we can find more samples. So it's gonna replace all the other ones except for the ones we favorited. See, already I'm coming up with some cool ideas. So that's dope. I love that. It opens up more options. Now you can keep that section. Maybe say you want to use that for your hook, but then you want to go back here and you want to find something for the verse. Done. Um, and again, you can filter, you can do your thing. Um, you can also select all and filter them all a little bit when you start putting drums over it and you don't want to fuck around opening the EQ. Boom, filter them all. Let's do it a lot. Cool, awesome. So then there's also the um, set random. So let's clear everything, including these, which I think you have to uncheck them all now. Um, let's do that and then clear all and let's do set random and let's click it. Similar to what we had before, but I think it knocks it out of time and it has a little bit of a different algorithm. Let's check it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just get so caught up in it. It's so inspiring. So let's keep ripping through these features now so I don't bore y'all with a 15 minute video. Um, there's also the, uh, let's go back and you can scrub that just like you can in Serato DJ. Let's click that and let's do key shift pad. And this is pretty straightforward. Press that, sets it, and it takes that first note. And it pitches it. Pretty cool, right? Simple, but effective. Um, and then there's the set slicer, which is pretty cool too. So you can set that, and it sets everything to the beat that you set here. Um, you can do half note, you can do whole note. And again, this is what separates it a little bit from the rest, is that let's say we want to favorite that, and we want to favor that, but then we want to move forward with the rest of the slices. It'll shift that entire block down, and you can do it again, and again, you can change the speed, um, and you can jump back and forth throughout the sample, and you know, you keep your, um, you keep the ones that you save. So again, really inspiring because it's just a different way of doing things and anything that's different at this point in time in the plugin world, in my opinion, it's awesome. So what I like about Serato Sample is it's not reinventing the wheel, but it's taking a task that we all do, or a lot of us do, especially hip hop producers, you know, chopping samples and using a sampler, and it just makes you look at it differently and it inspires you to make music. And to me, that's a key for a plugin. Extra bonus, the time stretching algorithm is killer, probably beats out Ableton in some places. And the way, you know, everything's kind of focused around the key with the detuning, you can see kind of after you pitch it down five steps, you know, the key goes with it. I like it. I love it. It's free right now. There's no excuse not to grab this right now. It's in a beta stage. It's free. It just got announced yesterday. I'm so glad they showed this to me. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed this, cop it, check it out, slice up some samples, make some fun beats and have a good time with it. Guys, also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. I'm trying to push out tons of informative content to you guys, and I hope you enjoy this. Cheers.